episode seven is Down the Rabbit Hole. We named it that because both Bree and Roger kind of start their adventure going into the past. This is one of our few episodes that Jamie and Claire are not in, and actually I think Roger and Brianna carry this episode, and actually Sophie and Richard do such a tremendous right. job. You can really see them starting to kind of come into their own. She's a child, for God's sake! It's been a tremendous journey for both of them. This was one of our favorite episodes this season to work on because we knew we wanted to bring Tobias Menzies back. And a fan favorite, because you know how many fans love Frank. <laughs> well, you know, we get, all, we get all the tweets and the Instagrams and the emails. Right. They always say, Frank, 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 Frank. <laughs> For me, the most interesting part about this um, was when we discussed the parallels, actually, between Frank and Claire. Your mother and I are getting a divorce. And Leary and Jamie. The truth is that Jamie Fraser has never loved you. Frank and Leary actually both have loved people, but not actually been loved back. The parallel of that and trying to show that in the story to me is such an interesting level. She never meant to hurt anyone. To talk about the writing a bit, the, the thing that Brianna found on the desk. What's this? We had planned to do something uh, with Frank's military background, but then it was Matt that came up with the idea that instead of finding this letter, what if it's actually the obituary? Because we had already done some stuff later in later scripts where we were gonna see the obituary, and he's like, what if we plant it here? And I thought that was a really great idea. But it is another one of those situations where we were like, oh my God, this is such a cool idea, but what are we gonna screw up by using this? Well, like, well, we what, always say that. I mean, you know, exactly. What of Diana's books are we, we gonna do screw up by Richard. doing that? It really did work out, and kind of for us, yeah, it provided the impetus for yeah. Frank to go back. It yeah. was such a cool little yeah. um, nugget. touch, nugget, yeah. Easter egg. There we go. For me, the most exciting thing, I think, was exploring what happened on the night of Frank's death. Everyone assumes that he was killed in the car accident right after he left Claire, but what if he actually went to see Brianna? Daddy, what are you doing here? Sweetheart, I need to talk to you. Hop in. She ends up not saying anything, including not saying I love you yeah. to him when he says I love you as she gets out of the car. And then, of course, then we reveal that that's when he was killed after that. And um, that's something Brianna has to live with. It's, it's a pain and a ghost that she carries. And so we, we play the ramifications of that and how this, this major journey she's taking into the past, that she could really only do it with the love and strength and courage that her father taught her and gave her. And we see him there at the end on the dock, which is a beautiful moment, just to show that even though she's going back in time and to find Jamie, Frank will always be with her.